Hi everyone, in uh, today's video on EGDIS, I will take you into the EGDIS system and show you how to correctly use the anti-grounding tool available in it. So as you all know that grounding occurs when the ship's bottom touches the either the seabed or the land for any reason. It could be the negligence of the officer, it could be uncharted depths uh, and that could be a very dangerous situation for the ship's safety. So to avoid a ship from running aground, we have an anti-grounding tool available in the EGDIS system which we should use judiciously but we should know how to use it correctly. So as you can see here, the anti-grounding tool is highlighted and what it happens is that there are two things that you can use with this anti-grounding tool. You can adjust the vector length and you can adjust the width. So you can adjust the vector length and the width of the anti-grounding tool and how you how much you keep the length and the width depends on the situation you are in and how much of the area ahead of the ship you want to monitor. So if you are in open sea and you are in deep depths, you don't need to have a very long vector length or a wide width of the anti-grounding tool because the likelihood of your ship running aground in the open sea in the middle of the Pacific Ocean or Atlantic Ocean or Indian Ocean is very rare but when you are in coastal areas or when you are transiting a narrow channel or a passageway between two lands uh, where there could be shoals or you are chartering areas where there could be uncharted depths depths which have not been studied very well or there could be underwater dangers to navigation then you must have a long vector length and a broad width of course it depends on your preferences as the user but uh, when you do set up a long vector length and width you are warned in advance of any kind of uh, depths under the water which may be dangerous for your ship's navigation depending on your ship's draft and as soon as you uh, detect a danger then it, that anti-grounding that whole area of the vector and the width it lights up in red and gives you a warning and there are of course warning flashes as well uh, you will get alarms as well and that will warn you of any dangers. So let's go into the EGDIS system now and see how to set up the anti-grounding tool and uh, what do you see when you do that. So you can see here the two black circles is where the ship is. This is denoting the position of the ship and I will now create or rather I will use the anti-grounding tool. It is already there you can see the vector is very small in length but I will show you how to increase the vector length and the width. So just go to on ship and then you can see under monitoring you can go to anti-grounding. So when you go to anti-grounding you have the two options available to you. You can use the or you can increase or decrease the vector length in minutes and you can increase the width in degrees. So vector length in minutes is uh, what does 10 minutes or 11 minutes signify is that is where your ship will be after 10 minutes. So the end of the vector is where your ship will be after the 10 minutes if you set a vector length of 10 minutes. So you can see here when I adjusted the vector length or the width how the grounding anti-grounding tool is changing in parameters. So it takes a bit of time I have changed the vector width it takes a bit of time and then suddenly you can see that change there. All right I'll show you some more changes as we go along. So you click you can set it as per the voice so if you want and if you are let's say transiting in coastal passages you can have a longer vector length and a broader width and uh, the vector length signifies where you will be after those minutes so 14 minutes means that is where the ship will be after 14 minutes at the end of that vector all right so now i'm reducing the vector length again you can see immediately nothing is happening it takes a bit of time a few seconds and i have changed the width as well and again nothing has happened immediately give it a bit of time be patient and you will certainly see you can see here the changes happen. So this is how you set the anti-grounding tool in your active systems.